hi guys welcome or welcome back again to another video how are you guys doing today i've got a very high profile personality here on my channel this guy here is full of substance guys and i'm so privileged that amongst all his busy schedules he's got time to speak with us to expose us to a lot of things that we may not know and as he sits here hmm, he is a uk based rn on his way to be a us rn he's a Ghanaian rn like Every hour you can think of, he is there. So today I'm very privileged to have you, Imano, here. And my fans are also happy to have you here. So we'd like you to start by introducing yourself to us and then we go into the video. All right. Thank you very much. Hello, guys. How are you guys doing? Everything fine? Yeah. So my name is Imano, um, Manuel Asima. Um, originally, I come from Ghana. Um, so I did my diploma degree in Ghana before I had the vision to come to the UK. To do nursing basically but before i came i had the vision of going to us as well so i began the process back home of going to the us you know people um, had the application and everything so um when i got to the uk i did my oski became a uk rn then i was like i have to get everything basically so i started learning whilst i was here working it's very very difficult here as a nurse i mean so to find time working here as a nurse, doing a night shift, a day shift, at the same time preparing for the NCLEX is not really easy. But you know, it's been a very stressful journey. Um, I would say that there were some ups and downs, which I'll talk uh, uh, you guys through um, during the course of the video. But everything is possible. Everything is very, very possible. And um, I would say my, my friend... Um, my admirer, my YouTube admirer, <laughs> Becky, <laughs> Becky will tell you, it's, it's not really easy yet. It's got a lot of things, a lot of, but one, one thing that keeps everybody going here in the diaspora is, is, the, is the commitment and the motivation and yeah. the money, you know. So, um, yeah, it's been a very nice journey. And for myself, yeah, it's really been, been great. Thank you very much. So I um, would like you to tell us which part of the UK, I mean, which sector you work, not necessarily the trust, which sector you work and which band level you are. All right. So I came in the UK um, sometime last two years. And um, once you come, you go through the process of getting the pin. So I had a pin, then straightforward, you are band five. So I work for a year in my trust. And I moved from the that trust to a different trust. It's NHS, basically. So that's the, the government um, hospitals. So I moved from that trust as a band five to my current trust where I work as a band six. So I'm working as a clinical nurse practitioner in um, renal dialysis. And it's it's beautiful. I mean, it's quite um, a very not well-developed town, if I should say. It's quite a countryside, but mm -hmm. it's really nice here. And... I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it here. Mm. This is very remarkable progress, guys. As I said, it's full of substance without wasting much of your time. So you've been here for like two years and um, you said you started your endless process. Before we begin with, you know, endless is the first step to making your American dream come true. Without the endless, nothing you do, unless maybe you want to go through the American lottery process. But if you're an RN, you want to practice in the United States of America, you need to write your endless. So you said you started your enclaves back in Ghana. Is it the new generation enclaves you wrote or is the old enclaves? Because I know there are two types of enclaves that we have now. Yeah, so the whole process began back in Ghana, but I wrote the old one. The new generation questions began sometime this year, I think March or April thereabouts. Okay. Yes, but um, regardless of whichever, I mean, now no one can write the old one because that has been mm -hmm. abolished. So mm -hmm. yeah, so every everyone preparing for the NCLEX will have to prepare for the new generation questions. And um, the, the preparation process depends on you basically. There's, there's no time limit because everybody and their commitment to their progress. For myself, it was quite lengthy because at the time I was preparing for the NCLEX back in Ghana, that was when I was also putting my eye in coming here to the UK. So it was more or less like preparing for coming here and also thinking about writing the NCLEX. Mm -hmm. So when I came here, um, I had to still commit to my learning schedule. At the same time, trying to study here in the UK, get your CPD program um, 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 sign off, get your 
everything basically i mean because you've you, you've come to the uk you needed to get some form of training yeah to be able, very good to be able to work here so you you were doing those things at the same time trying to prepare for something which is also in the near future so it was quite of a commitment here and there but yeah it's it was quite an interesting journey with a lot of ups and downs yeah Okay, so what are some of the materials you used to write the, um, the English? So I began with OGP, basically. So my agency is OGP. I mean, they are quite a nice people. They will tell you to pay $200 for commitment fee. And that is done towards purchasing the Kaplan. So Kaplan is uh, an online um, learning portal that mm -hmm. everyone who is with OGP and other agencies go there to study. I use Kaplan, I use gold standards, a bit of it. I did some of U World. Yeah, I had some few question banks that I was solving. But finally, before I wrote the NCLEX itself, I took Acha. Um, I think that Acha is quite good. It's it's not that difficult, it's not really vague. Unlike U World, that is very comprehensive with lots of rationales. Acha is straightforward to the point. If it is wrong, it is wrong. It tells you why it is wrong and you prepare for it. It gives you other learning materials as well. I I took that more seriously later sometime um, last year, there about. So within three months, I was ready. And I said, well, it is what it is. Let me just go take it and see um, how it goes. Yeah. So it passed at the first attempt. Yes. Um. That, that was something that it's quite a challenge. And for most people... Um, it looks like the anxiety keeps increasing. When I was ready to take the exams, one thing I keep telling myself is that NCLEX is not my life. I mean, it's a job that I want to go and do in the US and I have to get that qualification. Yeah. And me coming from Ghana and working currently in the UK as a band six, I'm not doing that bad. You get what I'm saying? So I felt like, well, I don't have to really be obsessed with this endless, endless thing. Let me just get my content well. I mean, guys, let me tell you, even though endless is very easy to pass, you need to get your content. Mm -hmm. Your content is everything. And your content has to do with your knowledge base. Yeah. And that is medical, surgical, everything. It's kind of so like more get... practical. Yes. It's 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 more practical. Like they bring their Exactly. So you need to know why things are done the way they are done. Yeah. Basically. So that that, that was for me, basically, I thought I, I needed to get this because I can't go into that exams not knowing what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So I prepared towards it and I keep telling myself, you know what? This is not your life. This is a job. And at 75, the question is from 1 to 145. Okay. And at 75, the... The computer will decide whether or not you have passed or not. So I can't remember when I registered for the exams in London. Um, I paid for my own ticket and everything cost almost close to about 400 pounds, if I should say. I got there and I slept in a hotel. So the following morning by 7 a.m. I had to be at the center. I got there. There were a long queue. I mean, about close to <laughs> 60 people. Yeah, oh, that's nurses in UK. I am telling you, people who have been there for ages. And wow. the, 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 the one thing that amused me was when I got there, there was this guy who just came to me and was like, Hi, I said hello. He said, Is it your first time? I said, Yes. I said, Oh, I've been here four times. I said, Oh, too bad. Then he kept asking questions, and I realized he was very anxious because mm. for someone writing for the fourth time, that's 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 a lot for that person. I mean, in terms of money wise, in terms of resources Everything. and yeah. time. So it's it's quite involving. So I, I told him, guy, relax. You, you are here. You're already working. I don't know what you do, but relax. You guys, we go go, but take your time. And mm -hmm. I think he, he cooled down a bit. And they'll screen you and everything, put your bags down. You enter there with your passport and get ready to take your seat and face the World War World War I. <laughs> <laughs> So I remember um, I entered the examination hall. They gave they, they showed me my desk with my laptop. It was a desktop actually. Mm. So I sat down and I said a word of prayer, and everything was just ready for me to start. 
with the instructions and everything. It's like, okay, it is now or never. You need to do this. You can do this. So I I I said a bit of prayer, then I began. Then ready, start. And I began. The first question that came was quite interesting. Well, you wouldn't know what the answer is anyway, but mm. you know you are giving you, you are giving your best. You do your elimination, whatever method you use to other questions. I went through that. So from question one to question 10, I was watching the question numbers. The time is, I mean, you have enough time. It's five hours. For so one, like, is the computer questions. going to show you which ones are correct as you are going on? No. Or it will show you only when you reach the 75% mark. And even if you reach 75, uh, 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 how do you call it, mark, questions, no. It doesn't tell you what you've gotten oh, correct see. or wrong. Okay. The, uh, I'll speak about that later. So what happens was, for myself, the system is designed in a way that you would know if the question you've, you've answered previously is correct or wrong, depending on the next question. Mm. So NCLEX works with what we call easy, medium, and difficulty questions. Mm -hmm. So if you've done a lot of assessment, a lot of readiness, a test you will know that this question that i'm answering now is a level is, is a high or a difficulty uh, a question so what it means is that if i get it correct the next one will also be difficult okay all right so i got to question 20 and i said you know what i'll stop looking at the time i'll stop looking at the questions numbers all i want to do now is that any question that comes my way i make sure i get it correct mm -hmm. in my mind so I was just doing it one after the other. So every question, one at a time. So when it comes, I take my time, I answer it. I got to question 70. Then I knew that I've got five questions more for the computer to decide my fate. I had to be on question 75 for about 30 minutes because I didn't want to submit. Because once you submit, it is either it goes off <laughs> or you continue. And one thing that um, um, I learned from Mark K is one of those guys that are on YouTube that teaches people about endless is that once the questions keeps coming, it means that you are doing something right. The computer is still deciding on whether to pass you or to fail you. So I submitted the 75 question and the uh, computer went off. Then it brought the new generation questions asking me if I was happy to go ahead. On that particular day, I was the first person to leave the, the I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, what is happening? Because Everybody was just sitting down there <laughs> with their computer. And within about an, an hour and a half, I was done. Wow. I was like, hey. and I left there. I went for my bag and I was like, so is, is that all? Is that, I mean, <laughs> is, is that, I mean, I was, I was surprised. So is that the English I just wrote? So what next? So immediately you my finish, it tells you if you've passed or failed. No. You go home and wait that, for the results. Exactly. And that is another uh, part of the whole process that is that could be a bit uh, 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 worrying. I wouldn't say worrying, but could make people more anxious because it takes up to two days for those who are doing it by themselves and for some agencies up to 24 hours to know oh, if you passed or not. So I wrote the exams on Friday. Mm -hmm. Saturday, I didn't see anything. Sunday, around 2 p.m., I went to the porter and I was told my result is, is there. I can buy it. So I paid about ten dollars for it. Then it came as pass. I mean, it just came like that. I was like, "Ah, are you sure?" So <laughs> I took a screenshot. The American I a dream. <laughs> I took a screenshot and I off my phone. Maybe it is my eyes. I off my phone and I on it again. You are doubting Let Thomas. <laughs> I off my phone and I on it again, and I went to the process, and I went to my portal, PSC view portal everything and. Is showing pass. I couldn't. I couldn't talk. I couldn't even smile. I didn't even know who to Thank even call first. Believe. I didn't even know what to do first. I was like, ah, ah, congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, Thank because you. endless. Uh, I haven't attempted it to be honest. I haven't even looked at any. I oh, I was only looking at endless questions back in nursing training college. That was in two thousand and ten. Mm. After that, I have not looked at endless. So. I know how it feels like. It's, it's a good feeling. And a big, big congratulations for that. So after you you've passed the NCLEX, what, is the, what are the next uh, steps to take? So um, after the NCLEX, the next thing is immigration. And before the immigration, you want to get a job to the US. So I had to contact my people. 
that, oh, I have passed their exams. And they were happy because at that point where they wanted me to, to, to terminate the whole process because they didn't see any seriousness mm -hmm. and because they didn't know what I was doing and all that, they, they were now happy that, okay, he's taken it one time and had the, the results. So they said, okay, fine. They are happy to continue with where they've stopped. That's with the immigration and work and everything. I said, oh, fine, that's okay, but not really in a hurry. So they mm. should take it slow, according to my pace. You know, that is one thing about NCLEX. When you do it by yourself, or even if you do it with the agency and you pass, you can always tell them what you want to do. And I know for most people who are in Africa who want to really travel to the US, they'll really be in a hurry. Yeah. And Nowadays, there's a lot of issues about the immigration process, what we call the retrogression and all that kind of thing. So all this process helps to delay the migration process. And getting a green card in America is not really easy. easy. So you want to really be prepared, probably get married. If you've got any kids, add them to the whole process, yeah. certificates, everything. It's quite a lengthy process. So for myself, I was just taking my time to make sure I know where I'm going to, what I want to go and do there. And that is one thing about endless. When you pass, you decide where you want to go. America has about 50 states. Mm. And you want to know where exactly you are going you to, to, with all the issues, with all the the, 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 the ups and downs we are here in America, gang mm. here, that kind of thing. You want to be very sure you choose a state that is quite peaceful, that has a lot of things that will oh, meet your needs. Yeah. kind of thing so for me passing the endless was more of an achievement mm -hmm. than probably work related yeah. i felt that it was that 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 exam that every every usual every normal every routine mm -hmm. nurse need to pass everybody needs to take that endless you need there's this feeling you have for those of us who are in the uk who have been through the process of going through the whole ski training and everything, the difficulties, the, the discrimination and everything you find at workplace. When you pass the NCLEX and you know you have an alternative, oh. you have this level of... It's a good feeling. I can just imagine. I tell you. I tell you. you, you it, it's it's, it's the, most, the most difficult exams, if I should say, in nursing in the world. I mean, imagine America, That's America. Yeah. To be a nurse in America, you need to pass the end class. The there are a lot of people, even, exactly, there are a lot of people who train in America who couldn't pass these exams. So for you to pass at the first time, it's really encouraging and it's self, for me, it, it was self-satisfactory. Mm. So I, I took it more of um, an achievement that I have to just put there and look at it. I mean, there are times I just go, go to the site and see Wow. So did I really does write it? Expire? Exam? Does it have an expiry date? Yes. So um, you have to renew it. I think every two years. You yeah, should think so. Yeah. But you write not... the exam again? No. All right. So you only renew your license. Mm -hmm. Once you pass once you pass the exams, you are issued a license. That is a US um, a nursing license. So based on which board of nursing you are registered with, I was registered with Illinois. So they gave me a nursing license. And that I think needs renewal every two years. Mm. And that renewal doesn't mean that you have to write another exam. No. N class is once and for all. Once you've passed, you've passed. you've passed. So even if you haven't entered the US after two years, at the time of entry, when you are fully ready, you have just take one or two courses and that will be used to renew. And I'm sure or mostly that is done by your agency who is helping okay. you to come into the U.S. So it's not really something you should worry about. Okay. There is no renewal. Uh, sorry, there's no uh, writing of endless twice. No, it's just once. Then once. you renew it, um, I think, every two years or something like that. Just like any other PIN any in other the world yeah. needs, needs renewal, yeah. Do you have any agencies that you can recommend for people that want to go through the agency routes? Which agency yes, um, there, there are a lot of them. Of course, my favorite, OGP. I mean, I'm with them anyway, so I can't mention any other. Is it the, so, yeah. the Python or whatever they call it? Yes, Ogadi Python. Ogadi Python. Okay. Ogadi Python. I mean, I can't, I can't mention that myself, but I know it's OGP. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh, yes, OGP is number one. Number two is Avant. Yeah, Avant I've used are doing Avant very well in the days. Yeah, yeah. Right, Avant yeah. are doing very well. Yeah. And um, some also go with MedPro. 
Okay. And some also go with, um, which again, share water. I was surprised. My own friend, Prince, I mean, yeah, he is, is with Prince share is water. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. Prince you need water. <laughs> yeah, 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 Prince, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so, yeah, um, he um, is with share water. And okay. um, I think they're also good because, um, yeah, um, they've been able to take him to, to where he is now. So, yeah, we've got um, Adavia. Okay. Adavia to you are okay. I don't know, but I feel so happy for you. You know, that feeling of having an option. I don't even know how it feels because as I sit here, I have just renewed my visa. My BRP just came this morning before mm. we started this live. And they've given mm. me five years uh, a second sponsorship. So it's going to expire in 2028. Mm. And, you know, that feeling of now, I'm still with my old employer, but that feeling of, you know, I've got a new place to go. is such a relief. It's such a relief. So you having to know that you have an option, which is even a better one. Congratulations. Any final words you have for the new grads that are watching us, the UK RAs, those that are back home that are still wondering where to go, anything you have to say to us? Yes. Yeah, so um, to all out there who really want to do nursing, um, I always say that there is no harm in trying. For myself, I've got a philosophy that says that if it has to be done, then it has to be done well. You've got a lot of opportunities out there. Wherever you find yourself in the world and you want to make a difference, you can always make a difference. That's Don't be limited by the things around you. You can always make a difference, even in your small way, but take it step by step. Mm-hmm. For those in the UK who want to go to the US, I mean, there are a lot of people who want to try something new. I think that is the whole idea. Trying something new, trying to improve your own socioeconomic status, trying to make a family, I mean, looking forward for a better future. All these things are reasons why people want to move. I mean, there are a lot of people here in the UK who don't, who don't want to go to the US because they think US is quite a violent place. But we've got a lot of issues here as well. Every country has their own problems. Their own issues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so do what makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Don't listen to people. And if you want to take a step and you're not so sure, ask questions. Don't think you know everything because yeah. nobody knows everything. So try to ask questions. Try to find out and follow this lady here. She's got a lot of things on her YouTube channel. You've got no idea what she's got there. And really? And I think, yeah, she's got a lot of things that she's done for each topic about immigration, about, yeah. Before I came to this country, I mean, you know, I've been watching your channels. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of things you've been doing. And those things prepared me. So when I came to the UK, I had things I wanted to do based on recommendations from you and other people as well. So, yeah, don't get the step. Don't get overly anxious. Mm-hmm. NCLEX is not your life. You are already a nurse wherever you find yourself. That's it. So if it's the UK you want to come to, just get your IELTS done. Just get your, come here, get your OSCE, and you can always get something to do for yourself. If it's the US you want to do, get your IELTS done. And prepare for the endless. But know that if it's the US, it will take some time because that is a lengthy process. Mm-hmm. So don't, don't don't be worried. Don't be discouraged. Feel elated for yourself. Feel happy for the little things you've achieved for yourself. And yearn to achieve more. Because the only way you can achieve more is when you appreciate the little things you have now. And at the end of the day, you'll be happy. Everyone will be happy. And you would be okay. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I forgot one it is what it is. question to ask you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, if you are moving from the UK to the US, do you still need to write IELTS? The process demands that you need to. The CGNFS process is such that for you to be able to complete the visa screen, mm-hmm. you need to have a valid IELTS. So at a point of doing that visa screen, if the IELTS you brought into the UK has expired, you need to do another one. But the good thing is that the requirement for out in the US yes, is quite... Mm, yeah, so, I mean, you can always pass. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you're in the UK and you're working as a nurse, then <laughs> you can always pass crap. <laughs> Something small crap, you pass crap. Yeah, so, I mean, you shouldn't be worried at all. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You can oh, pass, I thank yeah. you so much for your time, for your effort. It's you're been welcome. a lovely conversation. And, like, I'm so yes. happy. But I don't even know how to say it. I am so, so, so happy for you. Since the day we spoke, and I mean, for those of you guys that do not know, Ima and I, we attended the same uni back in Ghana. We were colleagues 
if they say university in Ghana, it might be a very brilliant, <laughs> <laughs> it might be a very brilliant student. So I'm not surprised he's making it and he's still making an impact. And I mean, Ima, you are not married, are you? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to go to the US and no. You are just going to waste it. Please start, start thinking about that as well before. I'm married. I'm married. <laughs> and I didn't hear of that. Hey, no, I, know, I, I know you say that. It's not possible. It's not possible. I know you say that. I know. Don't worry. I'm yeah, so happy yeah. for you and massive congratulations and thank you so much for your time and for the thank impact, you. the knowledge you've given unto us. We are so grateful. Thank you guys thank so much you. for watching. And I mean. Follow everything Ima has said and follow your American dreams if it's something that you want to pursue. And I wish you all the very best in your transitioning from your home country to other countries. And until we meet again in my next video, guys, is bye.